Hey folks, happy Wednesday. Uh, this is April 1st, uh, so we made it through March. That's exciting, uh, very, very exciting. Um, just a quick piece of note, uh, I have reached the point where I've ran out of space uh, for my tallies on my uh, days survived coronavirus. Uh, so you can, uh, I mean, we'll just keep adding up from there, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we can get as many days as possible. Um, we'll just be able to just keep adding them on there and I'll just use the use the numbers rather than the the tallies so that'll be the deal um, we have for today a very short uh, very short video to watch real quick uh, about uh, John F Kennedy uh, and so that should be a an interesting thing uh, so go ahead and watch uh, I'll link it I'll put it right in this video so I'm gonna step away for a second you can watch this video and then I'll be right back Okay, you didn't think I could get through this day without doing something, did you? Uh, I had to, I had to, I had to, I'm sorry. So, uh, John F. Kennedy, uh, we could have, and I wish we were in class, because we could have a big discussion about this, uh, the John F. Kennedy assassination. Uh, this is a big, uh, big conspiracy theory, probably one of the biggest ones in American history. Uh, so I would... Uh, you know, definitely recommend looking into it a little more. Uh, the story goes is that John F. Kennedy had, uh, he was going through uh, Dallas, Texas uh, in an open air motorcade and like a limo sort of thing, but open air. Uh, so it was a convertible. He ends up getting shot uh, by Lee Harvey Oswald uh, from uh, the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository. I think it was the sixth floor. There's six or seventh. Uh, but he ends up getting shot. Uh, the conspiracy goes is that there were uh, more than one shooter. Okay, if you've watched the video, which uh, you can do, okay, it's on YouTube. Uh, it is gross and disgusting and gory. So if you don't like that sort of thing, don't watch it. But uh, I will, uh, through the magic of through the magic of this screen, I will uh, put it right here. So there it is. It's the Z Zapruder film. Okay, the Zapruder film is like a, like a, I want to say it's like 30 or 40 seconds, uh, but it is the, uh, probably the most valuable piece of film in American history uh, because it shows, it's kind of the best view of uh, John F. Kennedy uh, getting shot. Um, it's kind of bad to say that, but that's what it is. So uh, it is uh, a gory film and I would not recommend watching it if you don't want to watch it. So just don't do that, but I'm at least telling you what it was. So uh, the Zapruder film, uh, they, it shows John F. Kennedy, it kind of looks like he gets shot from the front. J uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was shooting from the back and he shoots him in the, in the, in the spine. His arms go up like this uh, as a reflex. Uh, and then he gets, uh, then he gets uh, shot again. Um, and then it, that looks like it comes from the front, but it's hard to say, it's hard to say. Uh, now, there is also a theory about uh, a magic bullet, uh, the magic bullet, magic bullet theory. Uh, let me get my air quotes, magic bullet theory all the way in the screen there. So the magic bullet theory uh, says that uh, Lee Harvey Oswald shot a bullet that went uh, into John F. Kennedy in his back and gave him the, the reaction there uh, and basically broke through his ribs and then went in into the guy in front of him uh, who was the governor of Texas uh, and the governor of Texas had an entry wound in his back and had a broken broken wrist and then into his knee uh, and then into the floor of the car so this this magic bullet uh, supposedly by people who were looking at it uh, said that it had stopped in midair and it had turned and and paused based on the reactions in the Zapruder film based on the frames and the frame speed. Uh, they pieced all this together. Uh, Mythbusters did a whole thing on this and they basically replicated the shot and the time. Uh, so they replicated the whole thing and it, and it doesn't make sense. So the magic bullet theory, it, it's a stupid thing, but it is, it's a single bullet uh, that shot both of them. Uh, and it's been proven that it could happen. Uh, now, the problem is only one bullet was found and John F. Kennedy got shot twice. So they don't know where the second bullet went. Uh, the second bullet was, 
the one that ultimately killed him, as you would see on that, that video. Uh, the, the limo speeds off and, and goes to uh, the hospital where he's pronounced dead. Um, now, there's, there's all sorts of question marks about this. Was there a second shooter? Uh, did uh, somebody try to cover all this up? Because, interestingly enough, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, uh, I believe this was the next day or a day after, uh, after this whole thing was happened, he had been taken from, or he was being taken from the jail to the courthouse. Uh, I believe it was the jail to the courthouse. And he ends up getting, uh, he's walking through this crowded, uh, this crowded basement with all these reporters. And this guy jumps out, this guy named Jack Ruby jumps out and shoots him right in the chest. Lee Harvey Oswald dies. Okay, so Lee Harvey Oswald never uh, stands trial for this whole, uh, for this whole thing. Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald dies. Jack Ruby, come to find out, had a, uh, a heart defect and only had about a month to live, and he dies. So he dies a month later. So nobody stands trial for the killing of John F. Kennedy. Uh, whether or not there were more than one shooter, we don't know. Uh, the government's official position is that it was one shooter, Lee Harvey Oswald, from the Texas School Book Depository, and he did it all. Uh, and Jack Ruby had nothing to do with it. But it's kind of interesting. He might have been a cover-up. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But uh, there was only one autopsy performed on John F. Kennedy, and it was performed by people in the Navy, because John F. Kennedy was a Navy guy. Uh, he was in the Navy back in the day, so it was performed by Navy doctors, and that was the only one that was ever performed, and based on the reports, a lot of people say, wow, you guys really messed this autopsy up. Uh, you did not do what you were supposed to do. So uh, the Kennedy estate has never given, uh, never given any uh, permission for another, uh, for another, uh, another autopsy. So it's interesting. There's just a lot of a lot of holes. But I would say uh, with conspiracy theories, the simplest explanation is almost always the the correct one. Uh, so the simplest explanation is that it was Lee Harvey Oswald who shot John F. Kennedy and uh, there was one shooter and it makes sense uh, if you take everything uh, as is. But there's so many holes that uh, there's just enough holes that people go crazy with them. Okay, so you can look all this up. Uh, you can you can go down a massive bunny trail uh, and spend spend eight hours of your life looking up conspiracy theories. People have made careers out of looking up John F. Kennedy conspiracy theories and uh, reporting on them. So uh, that is kind of the uh, the deal there. So uh, we could talk more about that if you wanted to. So shoot me an email. Uh, I have for you today. Okay, with whatever time's left, I have for you today, uh, and this will. Uh, continue into tomorrow. So today and tomorrow, I'll post another video tomorrow uh, explaining some things for next week. Uh, but uh, today and tomorrow, uh, I have for you a sheet. It says Kennedy and Johnson agendas. Okay, John F. Kennedy uh, in uh, the 1960s, he has a plan called the New Frontier, the New Frontier, and Lyndon B. Johnson, Lyndon Baines Johnson, his plan is called the Great Society. So these plans kind of overlap. A lot of the plans that were in the Great Society were actually thought of by John F. Kennedy and his plans, uh, but he didn't get a chance to do them because he got assassinated in 1963. So uh, we have uh, domestic plans that are put forward in the 1960s and really show kind of the, uh, the uh, I guess, the challenges that are faced in the 1960s, but also the, uh, the growth of government during the time. Government gets a lot more powerful and a lot bigger during the time of the 1960s. So uh, you can work on that chart. Uh, email it to me by tomorrow. It will be our activity for tomorrow as well. So probably it'll take you 30 minutes to do it all. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I'll give you 30 minutes to do it. So today and tomorrow, you've got that time. Uh, now, I'm gonna leave off there real quick. Uh, I set a time for that Instagram Live thing. Uh, by popular demand, people wanted me to go on there just to talk to people and see how people are doing and check in. Uh, so it is going to be tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, you may have seen it on uh, my Miller Trees uh, Instagram story. Uh, so you can go on there. Uh, it'll be live streamed straight from uh, Miller.Trees, uh, my Miller Tree Enterprises Instagram page. So uh, 8 p.m., you can jump on. Uh, we can see how everybody's doing, uh, ask questions, tell jokes, whatever, uh, stupid stuff, uh, whatever it is, we could do that. So, uh, just mostly to check in and see how everybody's doing. 
So that is uh, tonight if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. We will miss you. Uh, so that's the deal. Okay, I think that's all I've got. Uh, I think I'm done for the day. So uh, yeah, work on this thing and then send it to me when you're done. Okay, take it easy. See you later.